couple hours, mobile developers uh, Meetup will start. The hosting company for that Meetup uh, called uh, Corona Pay. It's um, the fintech company that lets us to transfer our money to another place, uh, all other uh, countries. So why they are doing that? Most of the companies, they always host that kind of meetups for developers because they want to improve their HR brands so that like all developers will know about them. And another reason is to um, gather the list of developers in case they have an opening position to not spend a lot of time to uh, like find the develop, develop, right fit developer for them. So they already have a list and they reach out directly to them. Where is this? Where is it? So I can go through, right? Yes. Thank you very much. Core команда, команда, которая занимается разного рода там, CD, pipeline, четыре, это можно на одну, на три, на четыре. Зовут меня Игорь Мартинахей, являюсь я iOS разработчиком. To be honest, all those topics, uh, I was already using that things uh, in my previous companies, in my pet project and stuff, but. Uh, depending on pet project rights and depending on company. If your company is big enough, you can uh, afford that things, like uh, writing up unit and uh, UI testing for front end and like uh, building up design system. But if your company is small or it's a startup, I don't know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. see my workspace is partially done my huge ass table two meter long so for now I have one monitor um, my laptop stand I am planning to buy another monitor but I'm not sure if I will be comfortable with, uh, with the two monitors so we'll see in the future but for now everything is set it up except chair if you can see <laughs> this is just a regular kitchen chair that i have to switch so one company reached me out uh, to provide me a sample of their chair so i think in a couple days i will receive it and make a review for that um, so but for now yeah guys so I just had an iftar I just ate with my family and now I'm going to local coffee shop to work on my project so let's go So we arrived at the local coffee shop um, and let me order uh, something and we are ready to work. Alright 
like this. So I have done uh, all core features of uh, the clipboard manager application. Uh, I can copy, I can paste, uh, I can paste with different types, like with drag and drop, uh, with double click. The only thing that is left for me is search by uh, copied items and copy inside my own application, right? So, for example, if you don't, not, uh, don't want to paste it right now, you can copy inside my application and paste it later. So, uh, let's implement those two features. Alright guys, so what I have implemented, if you remember from the last video, I have set up keyboard navigation method that track my event for my left arrow key and for my right arrow key and uh, do navigation between my history items and what I have done now, I, ha I have, before I was tracking only one button, now I have to track command and C command for C key code is 8 so if I have fetch the event command C I check if there is an item selected and if it's selected I make a copy so let's see how it works we run our application let's make copy of image and by closing application somewhere here in the desktop we'll just paste it as you can see, second one is appeared. Alright, so copy pasting inside my application works really good. And now we can proceed to the next feature is make it searchable. Alright guys, so I have figured out what to do. I will probably implement a fuse method uh, to make a uh, search between my different types of items. But as I already started implement, <laughs> I don't think that uh, I will finish it today. But I will probably finish it at night if I can. And I'll show you results maybe next time, maybe tomorrow. But for now I have an announcement uh, that I want to make, so yeah. So alright guys, um, I have an announcement that I want to start a new uh, project, new application. This time is for iOS. Uh, I will make an uh, application, I'm thinking between um, the budget tracker and the video editing app. Right? So I know the video editing app is very complex um, and to implement that kind of application I need a lot of time, right? But it will be useful for a lot of people. I know it's a very competitive market, but still it will be useful. And in another hand, it's a budget tracking application. There's a lot of applications uh, in the market. Uh, so I also know that I can uh, make my app different providing like some kind of uh, huge unique uh, features like the family sharing and other stuff so i'm pick like hesitating to picking between those two applications um, but if we consider as the key point is a time to market right how fast i can ship first version of my application to the market the budget tracking application will be uh, the top one priority so uh, let me know what do you guys think uh, what should I start